set my watch up for Mommy Dina. All right, here we go. All right, welcome to Cardio Fitness. I'm Coach Shannon. We're going to start out with our jogging today, so let's get going. We have our 10-minute warm-up. Today's going to be a 30-minute class, so I'll make sure to list that in the YouTube on demand um, portion of our workout. Um, so we are going to do three different blocks of work, and they're all going to be about 10 minutes, roughly nine, 10 minutes. So we've got our 10-minute warm-up. We've got two circuits, kind of like Tuesday, and I forgot the burpee on Tuesday, but I won't make you burpees today. So um, we've got two little short circuits. Um, we're going to do two times, and then we've got three little super sets that we'll do again, and we're going to go through those many times too. So after this guy, we're going to hit our butt kickers with our thumb punches, and we'll keep on going through our 10-minute warm-up. All right, four. Three, two, one. Here we go. So butt kickers, you can take it down low and just kind of keep your punches going while you kind of rock back and forth, kicking your butt, or you can go a little bit higher. So you do whatever works for you. You can punch up to the side if you want. You can punch up to the sky, or you can punch forward. Just get those legs up. Get those legs moving. Let's put it that way. All right. 30 seconds here into this move, and we've got 30 more to go, and then we're going to hit our jumping jacks. So we can go with the modifiers for those high and low impact. Whatever you need to do today, what I'm always saying, honor where you're at. Honor where you are. Today's Friday, so maybe you're feeling a little bit more spunky than normal, or maybe it's been a long week and you're tired, so just, you know, do what you can. All right, two and one. So our low impact is just a little step out, but get those arms moving. Keep them up. You can go forwards and sideways, or you can go full on, full on jumping jack. Up and down. Awesome. After this, we're gonna go a little dynamic windmill. We'll get some Frankenstein's after that. So again, I don't know where you're at today. Hopefully everything's feeling good. And we'll get a nice little 30 minute workout in. And then get on with your afternoon, go get some good lunch. Or whatever time you're doing this, maybe it's three in the morning, who knows? All right, 10 more seconds here, and then we're gonna do our dynamic windmill. So we're gonna step out with our first toe touch. Three, two, one, okay, so we'll take it down a little bit, but we're still gonna keep it active. So we're stepping out, loading our head, flat back, arm up, a little thoracic rotation, a really nice inner thigh stretch. Really nice inner thigh groin stretch. Awesome. Here we go. Yep, we've got our Frankenstein, then we've got our reverse lunges after that. All right, so 20 more seconds here. Keep the back nice and flat. Send your butt to the rear wall or behind you. Again, load that hip. Knee stays behind the toe or as close to it as possible. We just don't want Real big knees coming out of those toes. All right, Frankenstein. Here we go. Low impact. Right, knees, knees up. Want to go a little bit higher impact? Get those toe touches in. Get a little bit of a rotation. Um, you want to keep your arms shoulder height. Right, but keep those shoulders out of the ears. No shrugies. Nice long neck. Keep those legs going. Long legs. Toe touches, come on. We've got 30 more seconds, and we're going into our reverse lunges with a little rotation. Trying to warm everything up. And we're halfway through our warm up today. All right. Here we 
Here we go. We've got 10 more seconds left. Reverse lunges. Rotation. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. So it's a nice step back. Come on to the ball of your foot on your rear foot. And just rotate over that front knee. Try to keep your balance. Plant that front foot. And nice and stable, drive the foot through the ground to stand. So kind of keep it nice and active, keep it moving. Drive those elbows over that knee to really get a nice twist. A little internal rotation on the hip. Everything's getting warmed up, everything's getting loose. Feels great. All right, 20 seconds here. And then we've got our three steps over with our toe touch. So it's kind of like a little bit more of a, a windmill, but a little bit more movement. All right, six, five, four, three, two, one. So here we go. One, two, three, inside toe touch. You can also walk this out. Three nice marches and get it. One, two, three, and touch. Four, little sort of slide hops. Awesome. Again, this is a hip hinge, right? So we bow, flat back, send the butt back. No round pinning. No, no round. We want to keep that back long. We don't want to pull on the whole back. We want to protect it. Back. Again, stretching that inner thigh, stretching the hip creases. 20 more seconds here. I'm already sweating. Already warmed up. Back. Got about another three minutes. So we have our standing high knees with our big rainbow arms. And then we've got skaters with fat feet. Here we go. So knees up, big rainbow arms. I want to go up a little higher, get those toes going, sort of on the balls of your feet, popping in a little bit each side. Or just knees up. Totally okay. Just be wherever you are. Just gonna go up and down. Get a little mixture. Excellent. So rotate over that knee. Drive it up. Get those arms moving. Feel good. Um, happy and ready. All right, yay. All right, 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, so we've got skaters. Here's your low impact. Just tap those feet. Right, we want to go higher. We can do sort of like little slide jumps, or if you really want to get it going, really give me that lateral hop, working the outside of the legs as AG or AP ductors, hop ductors. Or again, you just want to go up and down, give those arms, turn that torso, use those legs, and still get that loading on the outside of the hip. Awesome. Great job. 20 seconds to go. And then we get our break. Oh, actually, we get one more exercise. We get our fast feet with our little speed rounds. And then we get our break. Got eight seconds left. I'm just going to keep kicking it right here. Woo! Awesome. All right. So here we go. Let's get into those fast feet. So if this is too much for you, you can kind of move those arms for fast and just kind of move your legs. You can't really jump and run, but it's okay. So we've got three speed rounds. Coming up in the first one, here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, keep it going. Nice fast feet, nice fast arm. We've got two more. And three, two, one, here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, awesome. We have one more. It's going to take us right to the break. Come 
feeling it, we're sweating, we're sweating. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Here we go, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo. Awesome job, everybody. All right, take a nice minute rest. Grab some water. And we are going to start out with our first circuit. 30 seconds in each exercise, two rounds. So 30, 30, 30, 30, and then 30, 30, 30, 30. <laughs> After that, we get a 30 second rest. So first one is forward, alternating forward lunges. Right, then we're gonna go with the first lunge, the kick. Then we're gonna do little switch lunges. Now, if you can't do the switch lunges, you can do an alternating kind of short little lunge back and forth. Um, you can switch sides on the second round. And then the third one is going to be little side, side lunges, right? So, nice. So we're really focusing on those legs. So let's get going, 30 seconds. Forward lunges, alternating. If you can, try to get down to those 90 degree knees. We're going 30 seconds on, and we're going right into the next one. So we want to focus on keeping our knees behind our shoulders. Very important. Focus on your glutes here. Making sure from your midfoot to your heel, that's the one you're, you're pushing all of the weight into. Here we go. Get ready for reverse lunge. We're going to go one side, curve circuit. So we're going to stay on this right side. Now, same thing. Knee staying at or behind this toe on my left side. And I'm using my midfoot, my arch, and my heel to stabilize my body and allow it to drive to the ground and do all the work because I'm going to feel that in my glute, my hamstring, my glute. That's it. Three. Two, one. All right, so now we're basically doing some alternating switch lunges. You can do whatever you can to uh, modify this. If it's just a, you know, one side, your hip, you're hinging forward and backward. Again, these are just sort of really light, little, easy. I'm on the balls of my feet. We're only here for 30 seconds. Really trying to squeeze my glutes. Two, one. All right, now we're going side to side. This is going to be super quick. Oh, we're going to be 12 minutes into this. We are in our second little block of work. This is only 30 minutes today. We're going to get it fired up and get out of here. Woo. All right, when we hit the end of this minute, we go back to our forward Lunges. So one more time around. Here we go. Forward lunges, alternating. Again, midfoot to heel. Focusing on your glute squeezing every time you go forward. Put your hands on your butt if you need to. Feel it. Feel it get tight. Contracting. Make sure that it is. Squeeze. Squeeze. Good. Push that. Midfoot and heel into the ground. The arch comes on the leg, squish it. Flatten that arch. All right, here we go. Reverse lunge, other side, right? So I did the, the right before, now I'm doing the left. Get that air conditioning up today because this is sweaty. Woo. All right, guys, awesome. We got 10 more seconds here, and then we go into our little switch lunges. Five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Switch lunges. So nice and easy on the balls of the feet. And I'm just kind of, I should be getting down much lower. My knees are a little sore, my quads are a little sore. So this is where I'm at today. This is where I'm honoring. Right on the balls of my feet, I'm squeezing my glutes. My core is tight. I got 10 seconds left here. Come on. And we go side lunges right after this. Two, one. Here we go. Side lunges. I want the knee inside of that hip. So see how my hip is coming out to the side. This isn't this. This is this. Knee stays in line with my foot. 
my foot is parallel to my other foot, and I'm really loading that hip on each side. Pushing it out, driving my midfoot and my heel into the ground, load and explode, load and explode. Awesome. Let's get 30 seconds rest. We're going down on the mat for our upper body circuit. Oh yeah. So, plank surrenders, tricep dips, shoulder taps and plank, and then pipe push-ups. We can do those on the knees. All right, so plank surrenders are elbow, elbow, hand, hand. All you've got is 30 seconds on each side. For 30 seconds knee count. Here we go. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. I can eat these as much as everybody else. Slow and lift. Take your time. Use that as you want. Keep it nice and tight. Down, down, up, up. We have 10 more seconds here. You guys can do this. Work that upper body and make it stronger. Eight, four, three, two, one. We're going into tricep dip. So swing it around, right? We're here, the hands are facing in, and we're just dipping. I'm going to swing it around the other side. Keep dipping. We've got 20 seconds. So hips are up. I'm just bending in my elbows. That's it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, shoulder taps. We're going to plank, come with tap. If you want to keep that body nice and quiet, feet are max width distance apart. Take it as slow as you need to. Core is tight, head is long. Our, our, my hips are down. I'm not gonna play, but I have a nice flat board. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to play. I'm on my knees, right? We're gonna do push ups right here. So I'm on my knees, and my head is going down towards the mat. This is a pipe push up. If you wanna do it here, that little looks like it's a little bit harder with your butt in the air, like in your down dog. So you've got to send your whole upper body, your whole head, going to go into the floor. Awesome. Three, two, one. All right, we're coming back up to plank surrender. Here we go. Get going. And your plank, last one. 30 seconds. Come on. Come right here with you guys. So we have no more piece of that. Down, down, up, up. It hurts. Come on, 10 more seconds. Get those hips nice and flat. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go into our tricep dips. Get those hands facing the body, and we're just dipping from the elbows. Fifteen seconds. My arms are burned out already. Keep on going, 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's come back up for shoulder taps. Ooh, my upper body is fried. My arms are about to fail, which is great. If you get to failure and you can't move, failure is okay. In this sense, failure is a good thing. Complete fatigue, that's okay. Three, two, one. Get on your knees, and I'm about to do our little, like a little dolphin push up, right? So the head is going straight down, the whole of our body is one, uh, it's one connected thing, right? So from my hips to my head, I'm not. I'm not sending my chest. Everything is nice and tall. I'm just basically a lever on my knees. We've got three, two, one, and rest. Let's get a nice rest here. We've got three little supersets after this. So, nice and easy. We're going to include cardio and lower body. All right. Yeah. 
one plank exercise, a little plank spiders, and that's it. So we're going to start out with cross jacks. Again, so you can go like this, it's your cross jack, and then we're going to go bicycle. So here we go. Cross jacks, so I'm crossing my feet. I can go up and out. We're 30 seconds here, we're kind of doing the same, the same plan. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds on for the next one. Overhead, overhead, I'm going to switch it up. 10 seconds here, then we get down and go into our bicycles. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's come on down, hit those bicycles for 30. Right, so we're on our back. Here we go. Come on, y'all. You got this. Between each little circuit, we'll try to get a little bit of break. 30 seconds, nice and easy. 10 seconds right here, finish up your bicycles, come on. Come on with me. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, come on. We're going cross jacks, actually. Please don't hate me. We're going three rounds here. So we've got three rounds of this. We're in round two. Cross jacks. I'm crossing my feet, crossing my arms. Ten more seconds, and we go back on the bicycles. And again, here is your, so you can cross. <laughs> you can do whatever you want to do as far as trying to cross. All right, bicycles. Keep it going. Get on the floor, get moving. We have one more round of these. 10 seconds more right here. These 30 second bursts go nice and fast. Four, three, two, one. One more, cross jacks. So, you can even do just regular jacks. There it is, regular jacks with crossing arms, right, or cross those legs. I figured it out, eventually. This is the last round right here of this circuit. We have two more circuits. Three rounds each, and I promise it'll be easy. And let's get down. One more bicycle. All right, hit it. 30 seconds. Come on. Get those elbows to opposite knee. Twist that upper body. Come on. 10 seconds to go. We get a 30 second rest. Come on. You got this. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Beautiful. Well done. Grab some water. We're in our 30 second break. Our next circuit is going to be Charlie Chaplin. Sort of like big arms swinging, right? So if you need to go a little slower for modification or you want to just kind of slide, that's okay too. But we're moving big arms and big legs. And then we're going to come down to our spider planks. So we'll be in our plank. I want you to drive the knees to the same elbow. All right, so here we go. Let's get going with those Charlie Chaplin, those long arm, long leg switches. So we round of those two exercises. Come on, 23 minutes in. You're right here with me, and I'm right there with you. We have less than 10 seconds, and we go down on our spider plates. Three, two, one. Here we go. Spideys, knee to elbow. Do your best. Right? If you just want to hold that plank, that's okay too. Keep that body nice and flat. You got it, guys. 15 seconds. Come on. My belly nice and constricted, contracted. Belly bone to the spine. We got five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's go back with our big swings again. Round two. Feel the sweat rolling down your nose. Come on, you know it's good. You know you're working hard. Give it all you got. Come on, it's Friday. And it's a 30 minute workout. Do it for yourself. Do it because 
because you love yourself today. That's where you want to be. This is for you. Three, two, one. Awesome. Come on now. We're going spiders. Round two. Right? You want to just hold that plank. You want to try a couple of these. Totally fine. So I'm kind of going knee to like outside of the elbow. Core is tight. Go at your own pace. You don't need to fly. You can do five of them if you want. So just kind of hold it. And then whatever works. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, last round. Here we go. Switch feet, switch arms. Come on, guys, you got this. Yes. Feel the sweat, feeling good. 15 seconds in, we have 15 more to go. And then we only have one more round. Woo! Heck yeah! Okay. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one. Back down our planks, spider planks. Hold your plank if you just need to. You can hold it low on the forearms, you can hold it high on the hands. 15 seconds to go. And then we get 30 second breaks and we have one more round. Ooh. One more circuit. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, take that breath. Awesome job. So, 30 seconds, our last circuit. It's going to be a little squat, so you're going to come down on your squat, come up, turn your hips. So, this is your modified version. Right here's your. Here's your uh, higher impact. It's got a little hop with a twist. So again, that low impact, you'll just pivot. And then the next exercise we're going to do is a star pitch on our back. Crunch in. Here we go. Ready? 30 seconds, come up and hip turn. And for your modified, you just stand and turn and give me that hip turn. You got it. Hmm. 15 seconds to go. I'm right here with you. Three rounds. That's three minutes of work. That's it. Four, three, two, and one. Let's get on our back. Hit that starfish. Nice long body. Bring it up. Out. In. Out. In. Out. 20 seconds to go, y'all. Feel that crunch in the belly. Exhale on your way up. We are almost at one minute of our three minute circuit. Three, two, one. Come on up. Hit those squats again. Squat, hip turn. Squat, hip turn. Give me that little pivot in your hips for your lower impact. Less than 15 to go. Come on. We're at 10. Second minute of three to go. Four, three, two, one. Let's get back down. Start a pitch. Here we go. Up, down, up, down. Bring those knees to the chest. And if you can't, then you go as far as you can. If bringing your knees in is all you can do, or just crunching up. And you do that with your knees up. All right, you modify whatever you want to do today. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last minute of work. Here we go. Make it great. We came all this way. Come on. We are in our last minute. 29 minutes, 13 seconds. Come on. Embrace it. You're here. You did it. Ooh. All right. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Starfish. 30 seconds. Kick it. Come on, everybody. Make it great. You know what you got. This is it. Be proud that you are here. And we gave all of your blood, sweat, and tears for today. Take it. 
10 seconds. Be one happy starfish. Ooh, four, three, two, one, and rest. You did it. You did it wherever you are. Hopefully, it's someplace nice. All right, let's rock it back. Pick up that right ankle on the left knee and drop it to the right. Slower breathing. It's kind of melt into the ground. Oh, open up that right and the left hip. So as we're looking at left front hip, now let's go over to the left and open up that rear side. So we can get a little rear hip here. Try to drive your right knee up, right? And just kind of drop that knee if you can to the floor. Maybe just get a little bit in that hip here. All right. Let's go other side. Left ankle, right knee. Drop it to the left. We're going to open up that front right hip. Right here. Feeling that right up the right hand side of my body from my hips. Just above my hip into my quadrilateral. Into my lats. Awesome. Let's go to the other side. Oh, yeah. Left hip is something else. Woo! Feel that. Right in that big fat muscle right there, right inside where that bone meets, your femur meets your hip joint. Oh, holy moly, 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 moly. All right, let's come on up half kneeling, right? So, right knee is down, right arm is up. Make sure that your belly button is tucked because as soon as you tuck that belly button, you're gonna feel that in your right quad. Let's go over to the left. Push out that right hip, look underneath that armpit, and open up that side of the body. Beautiful. Other side. Tuck your belly button. Tuck your, so squeeze your right knee. Feel that hip flexor. And now we're going over to the right, and we're going to look underneath the armpit. Woo! Yeah, feel that stretch. Awesome. All right, let's go. Down dog into cobra. Three times, right? So down dog, push that high knee up in the air, look at your quads. Now come down, drop those hips, untuck those toes, drop your, your uh, shoulders out of your ears. Let's push it back up again. Drop it to the floor. Nice little extension in the back. Hopefully that feels okay. Last one. Push it up, bring it down. Quads to the floor, untuck those toes. We're going back in child's pose for three deep breaths. Here we go. All right, we did it. Well done today. Thank you for joining, and we'll see you soon.